believe it or not, almost 40% of the population, just in the United States alone, is believed to be deficient in vitamin B12. That's according to Tufts University in Boston. <laughs> That's a, a lot of people. This nutrient is actually water soluble. What that means is it actually gets flushed out of someone's system on a daily basis. It needs to be consumed on a daily basis. So I guess it's somewhat believable that a lot of people could use some more of it. Now you may be wondering what the heck is so important about vitamin B12. One of its main things is actually helping in the creation of red blood cells. And these little red blood cells, they actually carry oxygen all over the body. Since all your organs run off oxygen, you know, one of the first symptoms would be someone feeling very tired, fatigued, and having low energy. Now your body is a survival machine, so if it's not getting the oxygen, it's going to take it from low priority places like your skin. So also someone can have pale skin and cold hands or feet. Uh, next up, your brain's not going to get enough oxygen, maybe. It can lead to headaches, it can lead to confusion, some dizziness, some cognitive problems like you can't walk straight. And if someone that has very, very low red blood cells, it can even lead to permanent brain damage. But that's not good. And your heart can lead to irregular heartbeats, chest pains, stuff like that. Now, besides carry oxygen, this vitamin really helps nerve cells stay healthy. And I like to think of nerve cells as like little tiny postal workers, but they have superpowers. And these guys are responsible for sending messages all over the place. Uh, this has to do with touch, sight, hearing, smelling, even pain. Now, as you can imagine, without vitamin B12, a whole bunch of these little postal workers can end up calling sick. And, uh, well, it could be bad. It could lead to stuff like tingling in your hands and stuff and cold feet. It's also very, very important to pregnant women. And deficiency in it, believe it or not, uh, can actually make it five times more likely that women will give a birth to a child with a birth defect. And this happens way before even a woman even knows she's pregnant. So, yeah, very, very important. Also, uh, like I mentioned earlier with the whole birth defect, so it's actually using the replication of DNA. Now, to put this in perspective, your cells only live for so long. Like, for example, your skin cells on average live around like two to four weeks. And a million of them, around a million of them, like, die off every day. They shed. You know, you and what happens is um, when, your cell, when your skin scales don't replicate correctly, it can lead to all types of problems like with wrinkles and weakened organs. And a lot of health experts actually think this is a, a big reason for the whole aging process. Also, it's used in the metabolism, which is breaking down food into energy. Now, don't get too excited. Increased amounts of stuff will not going to help you like lose a bunch of weight if you're interested in losing weight. But deficiency can damn can cause all types of problems uh, like stunted growth and mental retardation in the kids so so sum everything up uh, dang uh, you definitely need this this vitamin okay it's very important as you can see don't be deficient in it now uh, to get this stuff uh, you can always consume it with food and some of the big ones that have a lot of this would be like liver beef fish dairy products soy eggs so if you're a vegetarian now, you might be in some trouble, um, the, but uh, here's the thing. The fact is, nowadays, a lot of our food doesn't really have the nutritional value like it used to. Um, so I highly, highly recommend taking some type of like a supplement, like a multivitamin to, to get this stuff every day, especially if, you're, if you eat a lot of, if you don't eat a lot of meat products and stuff. Now, contrary to what you might believe, not all supplements are going to be the same. Okay, There's a lot of crap out there. A lot of government agencies, they don't even really regulate this supplements that much. Products are, for the most part, can be very confusing, be frustrating, they all say the same thing. Um, and a lot of, uh, according to consumer labs, a lot of the products out there, they don't really, they're, they're low quality, they don't really match up. Some of the ingredients listed on the label don't even come in the packaging. Now to kind of help you make your life a little bit easier, I've actually created a, like a guide that can really help somebody in the process of choosing supplements, how to pick a good brand from a bad one, all about herbal remedies, how government agencies, what their roles, and you know, all this stuff. So I really think it can help a lot of people out there when it comes to choosing supplements. The best part is it's completely free. And to check it out, all you gotta do is simply click on the link directly below this video. I hope uh, someone helped you out, made things a little more clear when it came to 
this vitamin. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Check out that free guide. And have a great day.